This is going to be a tutorial overview of the general routing of Glacier Coast on Expert. This is by far the most difficult course as a new player uh, and I think I have a pretty good handle over it and I'll be able to give you guys some good tricks. Three, so two, going here, one, you're going to want to line up for this little, that little white space in between Three, two, one, so you're going and you line up with that white space in between the block on the left and the ramp and you just go straight okay. and with a very Good. slight turn left or right nice. that whole section starts as a very gradual right turn and becomes more and more what um, intense as you go through the turn. So you go right, right, and then a very sharp right there, or, or a much sharper right. This corner is the most difficult part of this level for new players and can easily lose you lots and lots of time. I'm going to teach you an easy way to get through it um, and the, some of the theory behind it. The sharp turn so you avoid going off of the ramp into the wall. Going into this next corner, you're going to want to turn wide left here. This is what you see the CPUs do. Um, the CPUs are actually pretty decent at this course compared to new human runners. Uh, they know the secret to go right uh, left here. So you go left, and then you can turn hard right into it. And that really wasn't that bad of a run. Or of a, a corner. I accidentally selected the wrong um, item, so. Three, two, one, if you're uh, wanting to go a little bit faster than that through that corner, uh, you can take a little bit more of a riskier strap. And that's by going down this corner and just making a very tight, uh, sharp right and then a sharp, uh, or a sharp left and then a sharp right. Going through this next section, you must turn left after that red boo, and you, you must uh, be set up in a way from the turn so that you can do it without slamming into this ice block that's right in front of me right now. Going left here avoids, uh, you're going to be skipping this red buoy coming up here because it makes you go off the ramp, and going off the ramp loses you a significant amount of time in this course. So once again, aim for the space in between, a gradual turn, and then a sharp turn at the end to avoid going off the ramp. Make a right, a left, and then a right. So you're lined up, and then you make a, a bob there so you don't hit that. Go past the red buoy there. Three, two, one. So you don't have to go off the ramp. The ramp will lose you a lot of time. Left, right, hold right, go right after that and then left so it makes it easier to avoid the buoy. Now coming up in this corner is extremely important to get set up for the next section. Um, we're going to be taking a right corner here and we're going to try to avoid ending up in this position right here. Because then you'll slam into that yellow buoy. Slamming into that yellow buoy um, will either have you miss it or you'll screw up the line for this next section, which can make it not only um, slow but also difficult to complete this level with three laps and skipping that red buoy. So you go right around the yellow buoy and try and remain um, straight through that section as you're going over the ice. Just like in a large wave section where you don't have very good control over your turning, uh, when you're going over ice you have uh, very little control over your turning as well. And that's why we set up the, turn, uh, the corner on the previous corner, the ice corner, we set up the angle before we go onto the ice. If we try and turn while we're on the ice, 
because we have very, very little control. And if you crash on the ice, then your run is, for all intents and purposes, dead. Because you cannot go up to speed and change your angle while you're on the ice. So you're out of power here, you're going right, going over that, and then you're trying to take a right after that to avoid that last ice block. The second and third laps follow, or the second lap follows the exact same routing. Just go left, right, take it really wide, you don't have to take it as tight as I did um, to get a decent time. Go right around there, go left, go right there, and right there. So it's a large right turn the whole course. And the routing, because uh, I have two buoys left, that means I can skip two of them in this last section. And the fastest two buoys to skip are both red ones in the next section here. So you're going to go left of that ice block, miss both of those red buoys, and set up for the end section with hopefully a little uh, swerve there. That's going to be my overview of Glacier Coast. This is a very difficult level, so let me know uh, the difficulties you're having with it in the comment section below so I may further help you. Uh, thank you for your time and take care.